Sunday morning when I want to play back. Oh, With the introduce yourself, I'm Tim Day, senior director of Nike Basketball Full What's up, everybody? Hey, everybody. Thanks for coming out today. I'm Ben, Nike Basketball Forward Designer. So we in New York, the Mecca of basketball, celebrating basketball culture. How dope is that? Woo! There you go. So we're actually gonna start behind you right here. So when you guys walk into the DNA space, you'll see about five or six Air Force Ones. This is our bread and butter. This is culture. I think most of you know, but this used to be a basketball shoe. People used to actually hoop in this shoe. We built it with performance in mind, and now you talk about New York, connecting the folks, this is a lifestyle icon. 50th anniversary of hip hop, you know we had to bring back Terror Squad, Fat Joe, I know y'all seen him on the web, passing these things out. This man is helping us out, this is an amazing shoe, super excited about this one. As we go to the next one right here, we talk about getting younger in our portfolio, also, also looking, looking into, into female, female athletes, athletes to help help, help Nike, Nike build this thing from a basketball perspective, perspective. Asia, Asia Wilson. Wilson. She's, She's absolutely, absolutely amazing. amazing. I know you guys just saw, tied, tied the record, record 53, 53 points. points. She's, She's killing, killing it right, right now. now. This, this is, is her shoe, the Cosmic Unity 3, that came out back, back in summer. summer. We have, we have another, another way coming, color way coming, coming for her that we're going to bring to retail. Inspired by her doing it her way and inspiring a generation to do it their way. This was designed by her, super excited about it. As I said, getting younger in our portfolio, doing it with Asia Wilson. We have LeBron 21, entering year 21, designing for the next generation of basketball players. LeBron wanted this to be dedicated to new kids coming up, like the Bronies, the Bryce, the younger ones, even his daughter Zuri. As a matter of fact, this colorway is called Koya, inspired by the Koya Pearls, which means to be unbothered, to be calm, the state of being calm, entering his next season, he wants to be in that mindset. But also dedicating his shoe to his daughter Zuri, which is inspired by a clamshell that's protecting the pearl inside of it. Moving on to the next one, we have the Nike Full Force. It's a whole new design, a whole new creation, inspired by the history of Nike basketball through the DNA, a whole new set of colorways inspired by the past, but something you can wear and ready for the streets anytime. When we talk about cultural timestamps, one of my favorite, obviously I'm wearing it right now, Nike Dunk. Another shoe built with performance in mind. People used to hoop in this shoe. Hit culture, you guys seen it everywhere in the past couple of years. Nike Dunk, right? A lifestyle icon. Another colorway coming in October. Super excited about that. Then as we go over to the next case, we got, we got Katie, Katie, one of the, one best, best in the game, game right? right? And yeah, I don't know I don't if you know guys know this story, story, but back, back in 2000, Katie Don Pearl passed, passed away, and he and came, came to us, and he said, hey, starting with the KD3, I want to bring inspiration to Aunt Pearl going forward in all of his shoes. Now, you guys know, we've tied this red thread all the way from the KD3 all the way to the KD16. It's been one of the best colorways we've had throughout his line throughout that entire time. And we got my man B over here, he's gonna talk through some of the details. So with the K-15, the one prior to this one, we were inspired by Angel Wing to commemorate his, his aunt. With the 16, we wanna play up the theme of roses and petals, and it's gotta be more embedded into the shoe versus being overtly in your face. If you get close enough, you see on that RAM material, that pink suede material there, there's this really cool intricate rose pattern that's embedded into that. It's really subtle, but something that's you can see up close, but from afar, the pink really stands out. We wanna pay homage to his aunt. All right, moving on next to John One Zombie. Uh, as you guys know, John Moran is one of our high fly athletes in our portfolio. And he really prides himself in working hard in the evening when people are sleeping. So that's why we play the theme of zombie. You see sometimes he posts emojis of zombies on his posts. And the idea is that he works really hard getting ready for the season to start up. And that's why we decided to do this color inspired by the hard work ethic at night. Moving on to the Air Force One. Covered in Halloween themes. You look at inside the sock lantern, there's jack-o'-lantern printed in there graphically. All blacked out just for that evening walks. The slime green in the outsole, and then follow up to that, a new creation with new technology prepped for the streets. 
Moving on to the next one, you have LeBron 21 Tahitian colorway. Heavily inspired by the idea of protection, the Tahitian pearls about protecting and guarding yourself. So that's what the team decided to use as a theme and the colorway for this for this one. Question for you, Ben. Are there any glow in the dark elements on that? Or like this one? For that one, there isn't much glow in the dark element, but there are some really cool details that plays up the zombie theme. Like the swoosh there has these really cool scratch marks. And on the back tab, there's these really cool zombie hands coming out of the dirt. Free five, Giannis onto the Kubo. And the first color I want to start with is Alphabet Bros. Now you guys might have seen this on the one, the two, all the way up to the five. Similar to what we did in KD with the On Pearl, we want that same thread that runs through because this one connects globally. As you go down to the bottom one, this is going to talk about his heritage. Nigeria times Greece. Very unique for him, but as you know him, he's all about family. We've run this on the three, the four, and then we're going to bring it back on the five as well. And obviously the colors are inspiration behind both places that he's from. Look in the case here, you have three really strong, high performance basketball shoes. This is our pinnacle expression for the cut, the jump, and the hustle. You look at the first one, GT Cut 2, made for the guys who cut quick, East West. The second one here, the GT Jump 2, design and engineer for the high flyers. Some of you guys had this on this morning. Uh, if you feel an extra inch of elevation, it's because of that probably. And then lastly, the GT Hustle 2, design and engineer for those who want to stay fresh in the first quarter, all the way to the last quarter. And the colorway here is really fire. It's really dark based and hits of color shifts that you get up close. And that's to be inspired by pushing beyond zones. And up next here, you have a collection of OG 90 hits adorned in some really cool classic basketball inspired colors in terms of like the culture, the wood grain from the floors, the parquet, really oak tone base, earth tone base to play up the classic feel of Nike basketball. But it done in a fresh way for the new kids coming up. Shout out to the set designer. Shout out to the set designer. Should we move on? <laughs> All right, up next, we have the Nike Sabrina. Special colorways here. Uh, I, we had the pleasure of working closely with Sabrina to generate and cook up some of these colors here. The first one is Family Bonds. She has two brothers that we partner up to color this colorway here, which is really unique where typically we color ourselves with the athlete, but now we're involving her close one, her loved ones, into the process. So her brother's favorite color is blue, so we decided to sprinkle some of those hits on the shoe, but still marked out to be tough on the court. And then below that, we have West Coast Roots. She's paying homage to where she grew up, the West Coast, and the sunset scenery of how the, the sky really comes to life and the yellow dark sunset. We wanted to turn up a little bit, contrasting from the black colorway to something a little more poppy. Much like Tony's colorway that he made for oh. IG, but we weren't inspired by that. This is definitely inspired by the West Coast Roots. Shout out. Next we have Nike Foam Posit, the classic assault here, a Coke classic. Coming in all black for the holidays. I mean, what more can you say, honestly? We'll go with whatever's fit right now, so. Please go so sweet. I'm excited about this one. First, the partner, ongoing partnership with Kobe has been absolutely amazing. And I don't have to speak to this one that much. One of the most iconic colors that we've had in Kobe history, obviously Grinch. This was showed about two years ago and everybody's asked us for this over and over again. So we're gonna give it to you, reverse Grinch, and we're gonna do it with the bold laces in there. Half During the same time frame, we're coming in, and this is obviously around Christmas. Think about it, gifting the world the mama mentality, and doing that in the Nike way through everything that we have here. So first I'll start with the Retro 4, Covered in suede, mamba print on the swoosh, on the forefoot and the top collar. Then going to the jacket to align with the shoe. Mamba print down the sleeve. Clean embroidery on the back. Very luxury, very premium. And then to finish this off, the jersey with the mamba print down the back as well. So a full collection, giving back to the mamba army giving his mama mentality back to the world. Super excited about this one. Yeah, that's fire. And as I said, we're not done yet. Ooh. We're in Nike fashion. 
We couldn't let y'all leave without revealing some. So I'm gonna turn y'all away behind me. The first one we're gonna talk through, and Ben's already given a high level design feature of what the shoe is and how it was built. And we wanted to reveal a colorway that nobody's seen yet. So without further ado, Ben. Hey, come close, come close. Come close. Come close. Hey. All right, I'm gonna be honest, not the best lighting because it's super sunny out here and the glare on the windows kind of makes it hard to see the actual details of the shoes and all that, but we got a quick briefing of everything. Grab my lunch. Ben and Tim gave you the breakdown of the LeBron 21s as well as the book ones. Uh, there's also a Nocta station that I still need to check out. But yeah, overall, it's, it's a ton of product, a ton of upcoming holiday releases. I'm excited, man. I hope you guys are too. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Other than that, appreciate you guys watching. See you on the next video. Peace.